Now we're going to cover a little bit into the theory of how to analyze an LRC circuit uh, uh, connected to an AC source, but they are all in parallel to each other. Previously, we have covered LRC series circuits. Okay, so how do we analyze this? So over here, what's going to happen is the AC source is going to give you some voltage. V source is Vm sine of omega t, and then it could be at a certain angle. Okay, let's say um, <coughs> alpha. Okay, and then the voltage is going to come and instead of dividing up in series, it's dividing up in parallel. So basically the voltage across the resistor is going to be in sync with the voltage of the source and equal to it. The voltage of the inductor is also going to equal to the resistor, equal to the source, and the capacitor also is going to equal. But the currents in each one are going to be different, right? So if we analyze one of them, we can say V source minus, and then you, got, you, you go across this way and then you go down, the current in the resistor times the resistance in the resistor. So the current comes here, I total, breaks up into IR, breaks up into IL, breaks up into IC, right? So Vs minus IR, R equals zero. So the current in the resistor equals voltage of the source over R. So the voltage of the source is Vm sine omega t plus alpha, over R. How about for the inductance? We have voltage of the source minus, and then over here we have L di dt is equal to zero. So we analyze that similar to how we did the series circuit, but here you see you have your Vm sine omega t plus alpha is equal to L di dt, and the L goes down here, right? And then the dt goes over there, and then we do an integral. dt, then we integrate, we integrate, and then when we integrate the sine, we get a negative cosine, right? So, and then the omega comes down. Minus Vm over omega L cosine omega t plus alpha is equal to I of t. So this is the current in the inductor. So if we write that in terms of the voltage of the source, what do we say? Remember the statement, Eli, the Iceman, what that means is the voltage in the inductor leads the current by uh, 90 degrees. So the current in the inductor is behind the voltage, right? So the current in the inductor is going to be behind the voltage by 90 degrees. So if we rewrite the I over 2. Let's check to see if that works actually. Let's see, see if the negative works. Sine of A minus B is equal to sine of A cosine of B minus sine of B cosine of A. Okay? So if we do this one, we have sine of omega t plus alpha, cosine of pi over 2, minus sine of pi over 2, cosine of omega t plus alpha. Cosine pi over 2 is 0, and you get negative 1 cosine omega t plus alpha, and then you get here your desired result. So what, what I just proved is that this is working. The current likes to be behind the voltage in the inductors. So it's minus pi over 2. And then remember that the XL is the inductive reactance is defined as omega L. So that's in ohms. Okay. So we can rewrite the current in the inductor as a function of time as Vm over XL sine of omega t plus alpha minus pi over 2. Okay. Now, similarly, for the capacitor, we're going to have a similar looking equation, but the capacitor, the current likes to be ahead of the voltage, okay, by 90 degrees. So when you do this setup for the capacitor, so you have here CVM omega cosine of omega t plus alpha is equal to I of the capacitor, okay? 
<coughs> and this one we can express as sine of omega t plus alpha plus pi over 2. Vm over xc sine omega t plus alpha plus pi over 2. Okay? And therefore, the current is ahead of the voltage in the capacitor. So we have here current of the capacitor, Vm over xc sine omega t plus alpha plus pi over 2. And what is the definition of xc, the capacitive reactance? xc is equal to 1 over wc. So that is the same as the definition in series, OK? So what does the phasor diagram for this one look like? Which equals voltage of the inductor, which equals voltage of the source. OK? And then this is omega t plus alpha, some angle. And it's a rotating phasor, OK? The current in the resistor is just simply equal to the voltage of the source, OK? divided by the resistance of the resistor. So the current in the resistor is in phase with the voltage of the resistor and the voltage of the source. Okay, the current of the inductor is behind. So the current of the inductor looks something like this. The current of the capacitor is ahead. Okay, <clears throat> something like this. And then the current of the inductor, Okay, therefore, what's the total current in the circuit? You do IC minus IL, you put it to the tip of IR. So you have here IC minus IL, and then this becomes to the total current. Okay, therefore, the total current is ahead of the voltage of the source by a phase angle phi, right? So. So what is the magnitude of the total current? You're going to do this squared plus this squared is equal to this squared, right? I total squared is equal to I R squared plus I C minus I L squared, <coughs> right? V tot I total is uh, V uh, source over impedance squared. This one is V source over R squared. This one is V source over XC squared. This is V source over XL squared. And then V source, V source, V source, V source cancels, right? So therefore, what's the definition of the impedance in a parallel circuit? We have here 1 over Z squared, 1 over R squared plus 1 over XC minus 1 over XL quantity squared. How is that different than the impedance in a series circuit? For series, this is parallel. For series, Z squared was equal to R squared plus XL minus XC squared. Right? So this one is 1 over Z squared is 1 over R squared plus 1 over XC minus 1 over XL squared. The, these two have switched because this time the current in the capacitor is ahead. So you do this minus this. Well, in this case, it doesn't matter that they've switched because you're going to square them anyway. But for the phase angle, it will matter, right? That different than the equation for the phase angle in the series circuit. In series, this is parallel. Tangent of phi was uh, XL minus XC over R. Okay, you uh, subtract them, voltage of inductor minus voltage of capacitor. You have this is voltage of source. The current in the circuit is behind the source. So if this is phi, if the voltage of the source equals Vm sine omega t plus alpha, the current in the circuit, I total, is equal to Vm over z, right? Sine 
omega t plus alpha minus the phase angle, right? So if the phase angle is positive in a series circuit, if this is greater than zero, right, then the current in the circuit is behind the source voltage, okay? How is, how is this going to be? In this case, if the phase angle is greater than zero, right, then what's going to happen? The current in the circuit is going to be ahead of the voltage of the source. So it's been switched. How do we express the equation for the current? In this case, so we say the current total is equal to voltage Vm over Z sine omega t plus alpha plus the phase angle, right? So if the phase angle is greater than zero, the current is ahead of the voltage of the source. So in series circuit, you say minus phi, and in the parallel uh, circuit, you say plus phi, okay? So uh, let's do a problem with some numbers to illustrate how this works and how it is different from the series circuit.